Hello, I'm Kevin Cameron, and my subject at this moment is intake air boxes. If you've ever had the gas tank off your late model sport bike, you'll notice that the front of the fuel tank doesn't hold fuel. It holds an air box. These things look like Samsonite train cases, but they are intake air boxes. Now, in the old days, when you bought a new bike, it had an air filter case attached to feed the carburetors or the fuel injection intakes. All the sharp young guys would immediately rip off the filter case and replace it with four sock filters. Reduced airflow resistance, much better performance. Then suddenly, one day in the late 1980s, they began to rip off the air boxes of their new bikes and their engines fell on their faces. They lost a bunch of performance. This can't be happening. Putting on sock filters has always worked before. But it turns out that the industry found a way to boost performance by making what's known as a resonant air box. We have all, in an idle moment, blown across the mouth of a beer bottle and heard the ooh of the bottle resonance. What's happening is that as air goes across the mouth of the bottle, it creates a low pressure, which causes air to flow up. That deflects the air away from the bottle, from the mouth, then the air goes back in and your airflow from your mouth goes back across and the cycle repeats, rapidly fluttering, producing that deep tone. What's happening there is that the air in the bottle is acting as a spring because it's compressible and the slug of air in the neck of the bottle, long neck beer bottles, really deep tone because they have a heavy air slug, is the mass that vibrates against that spring. Well, this intake air box from our CBR is just a glorified beer bottle. And instead of the engine blowing across the mouth of it, it's four throttle bodies, fuel injection throttle bodies, are sucking from the box, pulling its pressure down, and then air rushes in through the air ducts in the fairing to fill up that low pressure. Then the next cylinder sucks the bottle pressure down. More air rushes in and restores the pressure. If the volume of the box and the mass of the air in the intake pipes are correctly chosen, the box will hum like the beer bottle. The trick is to get your engine to draw air from the box when the pressure is up and then the box refills when the pressure is down. And that is why ripping the air boxes off and putting on old time sock filters resulted in a reduction of performance because in a specific zone of RPM, a resonant air box can boost your engine's torque by 10%. That's worth having. So, Samsonite forever.